Hi, I'm Jumai. Welcome to my Sunday love. Today, I want to talk about being courageous. I want to talk about courage. But before we go into anything, please join me in saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it's done in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hello, welcome to my Sunday love. Um, I just wanted to say, in um, my last couple of episodes, I, you know, I left out the Lord's Prayer. I omitted, you know, saying the Lord's Prayer. I sometimes just talk, 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 and I don't remember. Um, I'm really sorry about that. I'm going to make sure I always start with the Lord's Prayer and I end with the grace. There's no excuse not to, you know, not to do that in my weekly Sunday Love vlogs. Um, in saying that, um, let's go back to what we're talking about today, which is being courageous. Um, just to start with, I'm just going to talk about courage. Um, I believe that being courageous is the ability to do something that frightens us. And I think fear is something that, you know, is is in us as humans. We're not meant to, you know, be fearful because it's not godly to be fearful. But it's just, you know, regardless of all that, we're always constantly faced with different things. And, you know, it's not, it's not the fact that we're fearful or frightened or afraid. It's how we deal with that fear. And I feel like with bravery and sometimes, you know, calling upon all our courage, you know, to deal with whatever we're facing or whatever we go through, um, in the different stages of our lives, you know, seeking courage from God is the easiest way to tackle even the toughest problems. And I feel like courage is the strength we need um, in, in, in facing pain or grief or whatever it is we're going through. I mean, there are people that I know that are going through like really deep issues, like, you know, facing cancer, dealing with HIV, you know, going through a divorce, um, 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 dealing with, you know, a death of a loved one, different things in life. It could even be a relationship, different, 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 you know, stages in our life. We get thrown, you know, with different things. It's like in life, you're trying to move. God basically wants us to move forward and glide effortlessly. But sometimes we're faced with things that, you know, are pushing, pushing, pushing back against us. So there's a force trying to push us forward and there's a force trying to push us backward. But what we need to know that that courage is always readily available to us. But sometimes it takes it takes digging really deep down inside to 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 grab it, to find it, to to get it. And when we get it, we have to learn to activate it. And I feel like the easiest way to activate, you know, that courage, that extra courage that God has readily available for us is through prayers, is through fasting, is through meditation, doing good deeds. I feel like, you know, it, it encourages you. It makes you even further more courageous. It makes you, you know, confident and, you know, it makes you feel fulfilled and convicted in everything that you've set your mind to do. I feel like acting on um, our beliefs despite, you know, feeling fear, feeling danger, you know, feeling disapproval, it, it really, really, it really, really takes us, you know, that step further, you know? And I feel like, you know, you just have to pluck up the courage to just go out and not just be yourself out there, but also share yourself out there. And it's just something that I've even had to deal with, with even um, this blog, when I started this blog, or before I started this blog, you know, I spoke to people near and dear, and I, I just tried to, you know, get different opinions on, you know, doing this vlog and I got different opinions, don't do it or do it or do it this way or don't do it that way. And, you know, it, it, it frightened me, I'll be honest, it frightened me. And that fear, you know, later became hesitation. I became hesitant. I was afraid and, you know, I had to pray about it and eventually just thought, you know what, I'm just going to start it and come what may. And I feel like that courage I had to get from God Almighty, you know, has just, it's, it's, it's been pushing me ever since. And, you know, different things have, of course, you know, come along, do it this way, do it that way, change this, change that. And I've just felt like, you know, being able to stand up and stick to my beliefs and, you know, the core and the basis of why I decided to do this was to, you know, share my faith, talk about Christ, talk about being a Christian, talk about being positive and sharing God's love. It took a lot for me to just 
you know, decide I'm not going to change my direction. I'm going to stay and stick to my guns and just, you know, stick to my convictions. It made me a happier person. And I feel like I have to share this, you know, with anyone out there that's going through anything, no matter what you're going through and you need courage, you know, seek, seek, seek it from God first. Seek courage from God. Pray to God. Meditate fast. I promise you, I promise you, hand on my heart, it really works. Like, I've been through the lowest, lowest, lowest of times when I'm just really sad or I'm afraid to even go out. Like, even now, the, you know, the, the, the Ebola situation um, everywhere, sometimes I'm thinking, I'm like, should I go out? Should What should I do? And I've just had to pray about it and calm myself down and even situations out there with war in Gaza and people dying and losing lives and you know you just have to continuous continuously seek courage from God Almighty and 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 pray that you know with whatever comes your way whatever you face you know that the spirit of God is there to support you all you have to do is reach out and I just I'm going to round it up now by saying that I believe that being courageous is being true to yourself is you know standing up you know, for yourself in the midst of others, even when they're against you, even when no one else is there to, you know, stand with you, know that God is with you and, you know, standing up for yourself and standing up for what God has put in your heart is the best way and you will never be disappointed. Um, please join me in saying the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be, with, be and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a great week. Please um, be careful. Wash your hands. Be hygienic. Pray. And happy new month. God bless you. Goodbye.